Hello, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time we're gonna be taking a look at the Transformers Generations Legacy. This is the deluxe class drag strip, the first part of the Menasaur and I'm excited for this one because I'm not a huge fan of the original Menasaur. As much as people might not like the fact that the cars are slapped onto the limbs, that is something from the original design. And it is definitely a weird thing to do because it doesn't feel so much like a combiner. It just feels like you kind of upgrade him with cars. But at the same time, it's got to be better than that Combiner Wars figure. I, I'm not a huge fan of it. And Dragstrip was actually the first of the Stunicons to come out from that wave. And now Dragstrip again is the first to come out of this wave of Stunicons. And uh, I think he looks pretty good. Yeah, he's got some basic colors, mostly yellow, but that's something from the cartoon, so I'm not going to complain too much about that. And the only one I need from this wave now is Kickback. He's the only one I'm missing, but uh, yeah, purple guns, yellow car, looks fantastic. I heard a lot of good things about him. So let's go ahead and open it. It is not a review, this is an opening video. I want to clarify on that just quickly. And uh, let's go ahead and cut him from the bottom like so. He's got a little tab that you have to get at and pull this thing out. And there we go. There is the entire thing. The box can be put off to the side. There's that white sheet of paper that's always there. The instructions are there. And there is drag strip, of course. So I'm just trying to fold up the box so that we could just have that. But for some reason, it doesn't want to close. There we go. Okay, I closed it. There we go. And a very nice crystally purple background. You know, because that's a thing, I guess, of what's going on. And uh, let's go ahead and pop out the weapons. They are both the same gun. In fact, the tab placement is the exact same. So let's go ahead and grab the other one out. And then, of course, we need to grab drag strip out and just clip a few of these. And then we should have our little yellow guy. Come on. Okay, his backpack's in the cardboard. I'm just gonna push that out. And there is the yellow dude himself. Dude. I don't know why I said it like that. Dude. So on first glance, he seems fine. He's very yellow, which I do like. The shoulders are pretty big and expressive. I mean, he's got these panels, but uh, you can move him around. Not so much back because this thing seems to hit it, but you could go completely around like that until that point, so that's a little unfortunate. I'm not sure if this is not fully attached onto the joint, because it seemed like, oh no, this side does the same thing. The head's nice, except that it's completely hollow in the back, which I don't like, and I can't seem to rotate this part of the leg. It just will not move. Okay, well that side will. This side kinda shifts. Oh, there we go. Okay, just had to click it because it had some flash plastic but there we go now it rotates freely okay so that's good uh nice silver paint in the chest decepticon logos on the side mustard yellow paint just to break it up yeah he looks pretty good you can also combine the weapons but i'm not entirely sure why you'd want to do that but there you go you could do that and uh, of course you can give them the weapons separately like so, and that looks pretty awesome. All the other joints and stuff seem fine. I wish he had bigger heels, but uh, otherwise he looks like a fun little guy and uh, a brand new mold, I might as well point out. In fact, I just realized that the entire first wave of Deluxe Class Legacy figures are new molds. So yeah, that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and transform the guy because I feel like people would want me to do that. You could also combine the guns on the legs, which don't really matter. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we can do about this guy. Flip these down like so. Flip these down like so. And then flip down the wheels. Those will lock into place like so. And then take the entire front section and bring that down. It should go further than that. Is it on the double joint? Is that why it's not moving? I can see that there's a double joint right there but it doesn't really want to shift. So, come on. I, I don't get it, it's, it's weird. It shows that that goes further down, and it shows it uses the double joint there, 
but they will not move and they kind of need to so i don't get what's going on i'm gonna have to pause this to figure it out all right so i got the double joint to work but it, it was a huge pain i don't know why it's that stiff didn't really need to be but i had to get a pin underneath the joint and had to lift it with my scissors because the pin wasn't strong enough and i was able to do that so hooray for actually managing to do something but yeah don't know why it was that difficult these will rotate in like so with the arms like that and then we flip it to the other side what do we do next we collapse this together like so and these will combine up and over top of the arms there should be a place to where this will click into place kind of like so and have that and then i think i can manage to do the rest of the transformation so this rotates around and let's see this will click down into place like so and tab right there and then what's next we gotta do something with the legs so what do we do? I believe the feet, yep, they go back. We open these panels up and then we collapse the legs and we should have an alt mode. Well, this is unfortunate. It came in two. Nah, I'm just kidding. That is drag strip in his alt mode and it's a fantastic looking racer car vehicle type thing. You can plug the guns on top of here. And I love the silver paint, the engine, the cockpit looks nice. I like it overall. So with that, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all this fun do that. And I'll see you guys next time. All Spark TV. Now that's just prime.